Presently, the Moline Fire Department is investigating the cause and origin of the fire. We're also being assisted by the Rock Island Arsenal and the Bettendorf Fire Department with an investigator. This takes quite some time due to the extensive damage to the building, uh, and at this point we haven't made a determination on a cause and origin. No, the building was not occupied. It was vacant and actually scheduled for demolition in the future as part of the interstate expansion and the new bridge project. It was pretty hot. The first crews on scene, the first crew arrived in three minutes. However, the rear of the structure was heavily involved with fire. Uh, that, of course, spreads very quickly. And the decision was made by the incident commander early on that we were going to operate in a defensive mode, which means we do not send crews into the interior of the building. Uh, so we made a couple of quick knockdowns with some large diameter hand lines, then set up aerial devices, elevated master streams, so that we could get the bulk of the fire knocked down with heavy water. We had to close the interstate because there was a lot of smoke coming out of the structure, and as you can see by its position, it's practically underneath the interstate. So as a precaution also, in case we weren't able to get it under control quickly, we didn't want some sort of direct flame impingement on that structure or structure or anything like that. So it was mostly precautionary, but also the vision was pretty heavily obscured up on the interstate.